Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's WebWiz video number 41, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now you'll have to excuse me a bit this week because I'm suffering from what my girlfriend is referring to as a serious dose of man flu, but hopefully I'll be able to make it through this video without sneezing all over my laptop. Now, maths resource websites, there's absolutely hundreds of them out there, and many of them offer kind of a single PowerPoint or an Excel file for, for teaching a certain topic, and that's absolutely fantastic. But what really stands out for me are websites that offer a complete package a lesson full of questions, activities, interactive resources, ideas for extensions, and all that kind of stuff. Now, when I stumble across a website that offers me that, that is where I know I've struck gold. And this week's website, I think, does exactly that, and it's absolutely fantastic. So, let's find it. We'll give it a bit of a Google of Teach Maths. Now, as soon as you do that, give a little hyphen, and then you're looking for that. Teach Maths hyphen in thinking. And there it is there. Give it a click, <coughs> excuse me, and fingers crossed it loads up, and it looks like that. Now, do not be put off by this little red thing here. This, you can pay for some of the premium content on this website, but there is absolutely hundreds of top quality free stuff on there as well. So let's have a look at that. If you click here, free stuff, then you get a nice little site map, which has all the activities broken down and anything this has got a red border is completely free and as you scroll down you'll see the vast majority of things do have red borders now what i've done there's obviously hundreds and hundreds of stuff uh, to go through here i've picked out three of my favorite activities just to take you through and to show you the variety of stuff available on this site so the first one that caught my eye <coughs> excuse me was this one here angry birds so give that a little click now I think this is absolutely fantastic you may have seen some um, similar things like this before using the popular game of angry birds to teach parabolas but i think this is done in a really really nice way so the first thing is you um with many of the activities you get a little video demonstration which is really really helpful of the creators of the resources talking you through how to use some of the tools and, and how to deliver it in a lesson context you then get loads of resources with it so here we've got um, an angry birds worksheet so i'll just fire that up here and this is really nice, this is to hand out to the students. And the, the task during this activity is to fire this bird over here to hit this little green guy, but it's gotta travel along a certain path going through that point. Now that's something that's quite tricky for the students to do, and without any interactive resource, that'd be quite a dry <coughs> and tricky activity. However, what the authors of this website have done is that they've embedded some GeoGebra files here and it's a really, really nice activity the way it just works seamlessly. No need to install any fancy software or anything like that. So at the moment I'm, I'm going for this little equation here. So if I hit play, oh, that's not looking too good at all. So I think to myself as a student, right, first thing, he's, he's firing the wrong way. How am I going to get him to actually start coming up this way? Well, maybe if I stick a little minus in there, what, is that going to make any difference? Let's hit play. Oh, things are looking up a little bit, but I wish you'd go a little bit further along there. So then I might start experimenting by changing that number a little bit. And now he seems to be moving a little bit further along, but he's not going through that point and so on. So it builds up like that. And then there's level two here where it gets a little bit trickier and level three and so on. And it carries on really, really nice resource. And again, it's backed up by a worksheet. So I'm a big fan of that one. Uh, the next one I spotted is this, 3D perception. And as I've talked about in these videos in the past, my spatial awareness is absolutely woeful. So any resource that can help me with that, I'm a big fan of. So here's a nice activity involving some nets. And, the, um, and again, it comes with a, an activity sheet here, which I'll just fire up. Uh, there it is there. So the students have to match those nets to these three things and then you'll notice that there's two blank gaps here so the students have to try and sketch the 3d shapes that match those nets um, and then there's some nice little extension activities here and i love the little game of noughts and crosses with area surface area and volume which is fantastic in itself but it's better than that as well because the authors of this site have, have linked to some really excellent related resources and notice there there's a full description of the lesson so one of the things that they link to 
which is really, really impressive, is this little game here, which is um, a game of solid figures where you are told what the top and the bottom of the shape looks like on the side, and you have to come up with a sketch and decide what the 3D shape looks like. Now, so not to embarrass myself, I'll practice this one, and I'm pretty sure this is a cylinder. Yes, got it right, correct. And that goes on there. So it's an, a link to an external site, but it supports the resource. And then they also link to another website, which is absolutely fantastic and will certainly be a future WebWiz video. It's this one, MathWorld, uh, from the wonderful creators of Wolfram Alpha. And it's this one here. A link to all these amazing 3D shapes. Now, if you ask students to write down through as many 3D shapes as they can, you'll do well if students are coming up with more than 10 or 15 shapes. Um, they certainly perhaps won't be aware of one of my personal favorites, the uh, gyro elongated pentagon, which I've fired up here. So again, it's just nice just to show students that there isn't just the, the, the bog standard 3D shapes, there's a load of different ones going on, and that's all linked to from that activity. Uh, the last one I'll show you, another nice one, I just wanted to pop this on just because it makes use of a different, uh, different piece of software. So again, it's a probability uh, resource. This time, um, it's about rolling dice. And again, it comes up with a nice uh, accompanying worksheet here. Roll them for the students to fill out, which is lovely. But also, this one comes with an extra bit of support, which is an Excel worksheet. And again, there's your video talking you through how to use it. And a really, really nicely designed Excel worksheet where you can simulate different numbers of rolls of dice. So if I want 50 dice, there it goes. And if I want to roll it again another 50 times and so on, I can do it there. So a lovely, lovely resource. And there's hundreds of those on there. And again, they're just complete lesson activities, really, really nicely thought out. And they're done by teachers who've used them in the classroom. That, and that's always a big plus for me. Um, there's one other thing I'd like to show you just before I, I shut up and blow my nose. Um, the, the teachers do lots of uh, work in conferences um, all around the world. And they're based over in France. And I was fortunate enough to be talking at the TSM July 2012 conference when Richard Wade, one of the authors, was also delivering a talk. And he's kindly put all his um, all his resources from his GeoGebra workshop on here. So if you also want a bit of kind of staff development and a bit of training, then have a look at the conference stuff because you might find loads of extra um, help on there as well. So what a fantastic website that is. Teach Maths, um, and then if you do a little hyphen and in thinking, you'll and you'll get there. And that is my WebWiz video for the week. I'll be back with a new one next week. Bye for now.